While some countries are only working to replenish their fleet with fourth-generation aircraft, American engineers are already hard at work on a sixth-generation fighter. In today's video, you'll find out the latest regarding America's advanced fighter, its various technologies, and even the expected release date. Back in the early 2010s, U.S. authorities initiated the development of an air superiority system, the adoption of which would be in the 2030s. It received several names at once, such as Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, FX, and Penetrating Counter Air, PCA. But it should not be confused with the FAXX program, under which the U.S. Navy is building a new carrier-based fighter designed to replace the legendary FA-18EF Super Hornet. The main goal of NGAD is to create a sixth-generation fighter for the U.S. Air Force. NGAD currently aims to develop a unified system using the latest technologies including propulsion, stealth, digital design, thermal control of the aircraft signature, and, of course, advanced weapons. After all, pacifism is hardly capable of protecting anyone in the event of a real-life threat. The fighter itself will become the center of the NGAD system, while its other aspects will come in the form of drones set to accompany the new generation device. These will most likely be able to not only carry additional ammunition, but also perform other strategic tasks. Given that it will significantly expand the operational capabilities of the Pacific Theater of Operations, thus increasing the effective range and payload for the current USAF forces, the program is developing in several areas at once. An aircraft with a long range and payload for operations in the Indo-Pacific region, a vehicle set to operate over shorter distances between potential combat areas in the European scope of things. The fact that the sixth generation fighter project exists in principle was enough to attract a considerable amount of attention to it, both from aviation fans and military experts from different countries. When the media asked John Gumbleton, Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy for Budget, how much had been allocated for the 2022 sixth generation platform, he declined to comment. But his colleague, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition Technology and Logistics, Will Roper, announced back in September 2020 that the testing of a full-scale NGAD flight demonstrator had gone successfully. However, he refused to provide more detail about where and when the first flight took place, as well as which contractors had made it. Nothing was said either regarding any of the future fighter's design features. Even more conjecture arose due to the fact that, according to Roper, the new prototype not only broke many existing records, but is also something, quote, truly magical. Some have even suggested that NGAD could open the door to new contractors like Elon Musk's SpaceX. Given the billionaire's fantasy, it's hard to imagine how much innovation he and his team would want to shove into the future competitor of the F-35. Given that over the past 50 years, the U.S. industrial base has shrunk from 10 manufacturers to three defense companies, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, it's likely that the Air Force would really benefit from having a fresh mind on the team. NGAD is truly capable of shaking up the U.S. defense industry. If the Air Force moves to buying sixth-generation fighters in the foreseeable future, they are guaranteed to become serious competitors for the F-35 and F-15EX programs, which could subsequently put their existence in jeopardy. A critical moment for the Air Force is when the life of an aircraft reaches 15 years, since at this age its maintenance becomes noticeably more expensive, climbing in price from 3 to 7 percent every year. But what if, instead of maintaining old aircraft, the Air Force would use these funds to purchase new ones. Roper's Digital Century series model suggests that both advanced manufacturing and software development technologies will allow the Air Force to develop new aircraft at a much faster rate and acquire new aircraft more frequently. It would be as if they bought six fighter jets in the 1950s from six different companies only a couple of years apart. The idea interested representatives of the U.S. Air Force and, in August of 2020, the Department of Advanced Aviation Programs of the Air Force analyzed Digital Century Series viability. As it turns out, the use of digital manufacturing and development methods from both the T-7 program and the development of the NGAD prototype will help reduce the total life cycle cost of a new generation fighter by approximately 10% over 30 years as compared to its predecessors, the F-35 and F-15. For the same cost as a single 30-year digitally manufactured fighter variant, the Air Force can buy a new fighter every 8 years, thus replacing them every 16 years just before the plane hits 3,500 flight hours and starts needing major repairs 
and or expensive modifications to extend its service life. In other words, the digital engineering used in the construction of NGAD opens up the prospect for the U.S. Air Force to focus not on creating a device that dominates, quote, in all cases at any time, but instead on creating different types of aircraft with common support equipment, cockpit configurations, advanced interfaces, architecture, and even common shared components such as the chassis. This approach will greatly simplify the support and maintenance of the future Air Force fleet, as well as the maintenance of aircraft in the field. Additionally, the Air Force will no longer need to allocate massive amounts of money to developing the latest fighters in advance, spending most of these funds at the end of the aircraft's life cycle. To facilitate the continuous development of new fighters, the service will have contracts with several companies at once, choosing a new design every eight years and acquiring aircraft in batches of 50 to 80 units. Roper also noted that development costs will increase by 25% and manufacturing costs by 18%, but the overall result of reducing the USAF's upgrading costs by almost 80% and the maintenance cost by 50%, that's certainly worth it. In fiscal year 2020, NGAD committed $955 million under the National Defense Act. In 2021, this amount slightly decreased to about $904 million, but remained close to the set mark of spending $1 billion on a futuristic fighter in a single year. Continued production and development of new fighter jets would have a visible strategic benefit by putting China on the defensive. The latter regularly responds to U.S. technological advances as they are introduced, whether they be powerful missiles or futuristic drones. A couple of days after Roper's announcement, the U.S. Air Force released an image of an unidentified fighter jet in a story commemorating the 73rd anniversary of the U.S. Air Force. The aircraft had a unique triangular shape, which was very different from the concepts previously proposed by Boeing and Lockheed Martin as part of the development of the NGAD fighters. Its nozzles reminded experts of those that could be seen on the prototype of the fifth-generation fighter, YF-23, a competitor to YF-22, who had once lost to it back in the 1990s. Of course, the picture may turn out to be nothing more than just art, since many experts found it to be too futuristic. The NGAD fighter is expected to receive Adapted Cycle Engines, or VCE, developed by the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, or AETP, and Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion, or NGAP. The deadline to be ready for the first flight has so far been 2025, but plans may well be moved given the sudden outbreak of the COVID pandemic. In January, GE reported the completion of the first test phase of its second XA100 Adaptive Cycle Engine which took place at the GE High Altitude Test Facility in Evandale, Ohio. This allowed the company to continue collecting performance data, thus confirming transformational propulsion capability of their creation. The second phase of testing is set to begin at the Air Force's advanced test sites at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex, AEDC, potentially as early as the first quarter of 2022. In addition to being used in the NGAD program, they intend to equip the F-35 fighter jets with this engine as well. Some key features of the GE engine are the following. Adaptive cycle, providing both a high thrust mode for maximum power and a high efficiency mode for optimum fuel economy and downtime. A three-threaded architecture that expands thermal management capabilities and increases combat effectiveness. Extensive use of advanced technologies and components, including such features such as ceramic matrix composites, polymer matrix composites, and additive manufacturing. These innovations increase thrust by 10%, improve fuel economy by 25%, and provide greater overall heat dissipation capability in the aircraft. All this being carried out, by the way, in the same physical shell as modern power plants. Furthermore, the engine is capable of running on any U.S. Air Force approved biofuel while simultaneously delivering significant carbon reductions. Among other possible features contained within the latest fighter, one will certainly note the flying wing and a tailless design, which give it not only better aerodynamics, but also increase the stealth functionality of the device. At the same time, most of the concepts still include a cockpit canopy. In other words, despite the integration of the latest sensors, drone control systems, and artificial intelligence, the U.S. Air Force is unlikely to ever seriously abandon the manned version of the device. Down the road, we will be able to see several variants of the NGAD fighter at once, suggesting the presence of a pilot in the cockpit or full control of the aircraft from the ground. It's too early to make any judgments regarding the armament and technical insides of the aircraft. The only thing that's known for certain is the use of air-to-air -air missiles, 
but it's still not yet clear what specific missiles are involved. The most interesting and perhaps most revolutionary thing about NGAD was that the Air Force was able to develop and build the prototype in just a year. The world hasn't seen such a development cycle since World War II. This is especially impressive given that the development of one of the latest Chinese fighters, the Chengdu J-20, took at least 10 years, and the Russian Su-57 criminal has not entered production despite the fact that we heard about it back in 2010. As for the 6th generation fighter prototypes, one of the current potential opponents of the NGAD is the MiG-41, which is at the development work stage. But since reports first appeared about the creation of a new high-altitude fighter interceptor from the Russian Federation in 2018, the process doesn't seem to have moved along. All that is known so far about the possible abilities of the MiG-41 is the performance of combat missions in the harsh conditions of the Antarctic and near space, the presence of a potential unmanned version, and stealth and speed capabilities of up to Mach 4.3. However, as we said earlier, most experts believe that Russia currently has too many problems to allow huge amounts of money to be allocated from the budget for the latest fighter. But the European Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, fighter project, developed by Dassault Aviation, Airbus, Indra Sistemas, and Tails Group, is quite capable of getting to the release stage. But one must take into account that the first demonstration flight isn't expected until 2027, with operation not likely to occur until 2040 at best. At the same time, the creators of NGAD will be able to share their results much earlier. In recent years, more and more possible photos of the latest American fighter jet have regularly popped up on the web. Thus, in September 2021, the mysterious model of a fighter was discovered at the Lockheed Martin Corporation facility located in the Mojave Desert. Not far from the headquarters of Skunk Works, previously working on the invisible F-117 Nighthawk. And recently, satellite images of the military base Area 51 were published, on which they found a certain object with a delta-shaped wing. According to some experts, this object may well be an NGAD fighter. The massive hangar, located in a remote part of Area 51, was barely used for many years, and only a few vehicles could be seen in its vicinity. There was also a distinct absence of any infrastructure around the hangar. But new images from Planet Labs showed not only activity around the hangar, but also a new aircraft inside a temporary roofless shelter. According to those behind the image, the device's approximate dimensions are about 65 feet long and 49 feet wide. This is equivalent to the dimensions of the Lockheed Boeing F-22, which intends to move the NGAD fighter from its throne. Unfortunately, this is all just speculation thus far. We hope that the U.S. Air Force will soon share more detailed information about their future aircraft and we, in turn, will tell you all about it again. What features would you like to see in America's sixth generation fighters? Let us know in the comments which of the sixth generation fighter features you like the most. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like today's video. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.